Welcome to the updated Washington State PTA Awards and Student Programs presentation. This presentation will include new information regarding our Awards Management System, abbreviated AMS, for all our online submissions. Washington State PTA offers a wide variety of awards that will help you with the very important job of thanking volunteers and recognizing your local PTA or council for its great work. Our website has many helpful information pages, the judging rubrics, and tips that are also included in this presentation. Just a reminder that Standards of Excellence, Leadership Service Award, 100% Membership, and 100% Staff Membership are traditionally due March 15th, but for 2023, they'll be due on February 28th. Student programs like essay contests, game development, and scholarships traditionally due March 1st will be due on February 15th, 2023. We will go over all these awards and programs in more detail. Washington State PTA, Local PTA and Council Awards of Excellence can be divided or broken down into four categories. Local PTA and Council Awards of Excellence. Any local PTA or council can apply for these awards by submitting the application form as well as any documentation that is needed to support these awards. They also include taking significant action, abbreviated TSA, advocacy, and Family and Community Engagement, abbreviated F-A-C-E, or FACE. Membership Awards. Some membership awards are given automatically and some you need to apply for. We also have individual awards that are, can be presented by local PTAs or councils to recognize their members. For example, the Golden Acorn and Outstanding Educator Award. There's a Leadership Service Award. This is an individual leadership award program that recognizes the leadership roles and training that PTA leaders must go through. PTA leaders apply for themselves. There are also Washington State PTA Individual Service and Advocacy Awards. Celebrating your PTA's hard work is just one reason to consider applying for awards. So what do awards do for your PTA or council? Award success can get your community excited for P PTA and the work you do to support kids. People like to be part of something that is successful. Being able to tell your community that you have an award-winning newsletter or website or that you have an award-winning advocacy program can generate a lot of new or renewed interest in your PTA. Designed to build pride, participation, and awareness of all the work done by the individuals and local PTAs and councils on behalf of children. You are helping other PTAs by letting us know all the great things that you're doing for kids. That information is shared in the recognition room and we can use it to develop resources and training and more. We might want to replicate what you've been doing. It also provides recognition for outstanding efforts by local PTAs and councils. Again, this inspires everyone to provide quality service and programs by showing them what can be done. Reinforce that your PTA is doing the right thing, following best practices, attending trainings, and communicating with your membership. And finally, they recognize the involvement of their members that volunteer on behalf of children. Volunteer recognition is very important. Applying for an award on behalf of your hardworking volunteers is a great way to recognize all the effort and creativity they put into what they do every day. Often, PTAs and councils are doing everything they need to do to receive awards, but they don't send in their applications or materials. Even if you know you don't have quite enough points to earn an award, please still apply. You'll learn from the process. This helps you see what you need to do the next year, and you can often get some ideas from the judges too that will help you organize or plan for next year's submission. The Washington State PTA Awards are open to all PTAs and councils. Please remember, to verify each year when awards are due. This coming year, our awards for PTAs are due February 28th, 2023. This is due to convention being earlier than normal. All PTAs and councils must be in good standing with Washington State PTA in order to participate. This is tied to the standards of affiliation which specify the following eligibility requirements to participate. These will be verified later. Membership service fees. PTAs must be up to date on membership fee payments to Washington State PTA. Members. PTAs must have at least 25 registered members or an approved waiver. 
and a president. Each PTA, PTSA, and council must have a president and primary contact identified in our system. Let's start talking about some of the awards that you're able to apply for. First of all, a tip. Make sure your PTA number or council number is on all your communication. Include it in your logo if possible. All student programs require that parents fill out the PTA name and number on the entry forms, and over half the entries this year couldn't even find the PTA number. Neither could the Programs Committee when we searched on websites and communications from that PTA. For awards, one of the biggest awards to apply for is the Standards of Excellence. Biggest meaning there's a lot of things that you will need to submit. We'll go over this in more detail later with some great tips for you. This is a tool that encourages the use of best practices of PTA management. You can earn bronze, silver, gold, and platinum levels of achievement. Platinum level has replaced the old Honor PTA Award to decrease a lot of duplication that we were asking for. From the Standards of Excellence, you can also earn the Outstanding PTA of the Year. The purpose of the Outstanding PTA of the Year Award is to identify and honor a local PTA or council that, when compared to all others, in their unique environments and within their own special circumstances, is selected as the most representative example of a local PTA which exemplifies the purposes of the mission and mission of PTA. This award is decided by the Programs Committee and you do not need to apply. Gold or Platinum Standards of Excellence is required to be considered by the Committee. We are allowing community PTAs and councils to apply in the secondary category. Another word of excellence is PTAs Taking Significant Action, or TSA. The purpose of this program is to recognize the accomplishments of PTAs and councils across the state that present programs, projects, and activities that show significant originality, involvement, potential, usefulness, and results. These programs are things that other PTAs and councils may want to replicate. The ideas could be turned into programs to go that other councils or PTAs could use. Awards of Excellence. Outstanding Communication Strategy. Identify and recognize all forms of effective communication from PTAs, councils, to PTA members in the community. The use of multiple forms of communication is important to reach all the membership and community serves. Show the variety of communication methods that your PTA or council uses, like reader boards, e-blasts, display cases, posters. Be creative. Remember to brand your communication. Can we tell it's a PTA and not a school activity? A hint, hint, have your PTA number on it. Outstanding newsletter. PTA and council newsletter communications are judged as effective forms of communication. Newsletters will be judged on PTA or council identification, content, overall appearance, and creativity. Another reminder, don't forget to include advocacy in a section of your newsletters. Three months of, of publications must be included. Outstanding website. This award recognizes websites as an important and effective form of communication. The application must include a minimum of two different website homepage screenshots Make sure they're big enough that we can read them. In order to show the judging committee that your website is not static and changes periodically, the screenshots must be dated at least two weeks apart. Advocacy Award of Excellence. This award recognizes local PTAs and councils for their outstanding advocacy programs, projects, activities, and events. And this award does not recognize individuals. The purpose is to promote advocacy at the local PTA council level by recognizing programs and projects and activities that increase awareness of and participation in advocacy issues at the school, local community, council, and region, state, and national level. What does advocacy mean to your local PTA or council? It's similar to the PTA's Taking Significant Action Award, but it, the focus is on advocacy. There are questions that need to be answered to help other PTAs and councils replicate the program, project, and activity. Long answers are not required. The award is submitted online. The Family and Community Engagement, or FACE Award of Excellence, again recognizes local PTAs and councils for the outstanding FACE projects, activities, and events. It does not recognize individuals.
The purpose is to promote family and community engagement at local PTAs and councils by recognizing programs, projects, and activities and events that increase family and community engagement and involvement. Again, coming from the PTA's Taking Significant Action Award, but the focus is purely on family and community engagement. There's questions that need to be answered that can help other PTAs and councils replicate the program and is submitted, like all our awards, submitted online. Now it's time for some really specific tips. Number one, review applications early in the year. Determine which ones you want to apply for. Is there an area that you excel in? What do you, or an area you want to improve? Following the various award criteria will help your local PTA or council follow Washington State PTA practices. Look at the criteria of the awards to give you what you need to focus on for improving the next year. What criteria are you currently not doing? Is it something you have the ability to add this year or does it have to wait until next year? You might find that you get ideas for new programs and events and management practices. They might inspire you to do something new. Starting early gives you time to meet the requirements. Starting the night before will give you no wiggle room to attend to any missed training or report something that, to your membership that you really need to earn those key points. Follow each award specific instruction to the letter. Forms will change, so always use the current year forms. Email the award chair or the programs director if you have any question. You might want to review last year's forms at your board retreat in August to help you plan for what you're going to submit. Remember that this year we have our new AMS or Awards Management System for all online submissions. Tip number two, identify an award point person or maybe a committee. This point person can become acquainted with the award requirements. It will be too much for one person if doing more than one award. The point person assigns action items. For a PTA to successfully submit an award, everyone should have a part. Certain sections of awards may apply to certain board member positions. All awards are submitted online, so make sure to keep online files organized in the proper order. Make sure people send files to the point person. This makes gathering information for awards easier. Keep copies of prior year submissions as it makes it easier for the next person who takes over the point person position. If you made a template for a submission page, save it first as a Word or editable file before making it a PDF that you submit. This way, the next year's award chair can just update the templates rather than recreating from scratch. Our third tip is to follow all the instructions. Please only provide what is requested and only the number of examples requested. Adding more makes it hard for the judges and can be an unfair advantage. Ask if you have questions. All applications will have con a contact email listed for the awards chair or always the program's director as a backup. We know some things might not be clear to everyone. Again, we've updated several of our award forms, so you might find some errors. So please, please ask if you have questions or if it doesn't make sense. Put yourself in the judge's shoes. Put things in the order requested so the judges don't have to search. Remember, the judges are volunteers. Label each item and highlight the requested information as asked for in the instructions. Are the screenshots readable? Hopefully the print will not be too tiny. Be sure dates are clear when required and that your examples fall within the award time frame, usually March 1st through February 28th. Submit by the deadline, no exceptions. It's unfair to other PTAs and councils that participated and turned things in on time. Next, we will be reviewing tips that go with each of the awards. These informational tips can be found on the website on informational pages slash judging rubrics to help you plan for your submissions. For the Communication Strategy Award, you'll need to upload up to 15 examples of different forms of communication. Remember when choosing the files to upload, they must have some of the following included to earn the most points. PTA must be the primary focus. That might mean that you're sharing about your vision, your mission, your goals, your programs and activities for parental involvement in the health, safety, welfare, and education of children and youth. You must be sharing news from other levels of PTA. Might be region, council, state, national. You must include advocacy information for your members. 
You must include information regarding your membership campaign. You must be uploading information regarding your membership meetings, your calendar. And you must have at least one example of a bilingual communication form that could be bilingual text, a link or button to translate, or references of where to download translated articles and flyers for your community. For the website Award of Excellence, your website will be judged on the homepage content and overall appearance. Remember, is your PTA number visible? For the homepage, is your mission or the Washington State PTA mission listed? Are your goals listed somewhere on your website? And do these goals prioritize parent involvement, education, and the health, safety, welfare, and education of children and youth? Do you have a membership goal? Are you including links to Washington State PTA and National PTA and downloadable PTA forms on your website? Does your website have current and up-to-date articles or links to resources on these subjects? Does the website have notice or summaries of PTA trainings and opportunities like region conferences, convention, legislative assembly, PTA and the law, approved council trainings if you're part of a council? Do you share news from council, region, Washington State PTA and national? Is there a dedicated advocacy section and tab? Is there a dedicated membership section or tab, an online join link, information regarding the perks of membership and your current membership total listed? Do you have contact for all your board of directors and committee chairs? And is there a way to leave feedback or ask questions on your website? Do you have links to the school and the district that your PTA serves in and additional community and family friendly links, including PTA info, info or just information that parents might need? And do you recognize volunteers by name? Tips for the newsletter award of excellence. The newsletters will be judged on three areas. The masthead and footer. Is the name and month slash year of the newsletter visible? The name of the PTA or council and the PTA council and number visible? Is there a PTA logo? Can you clearly tell it's a PTA newsletter and not a school newsletter? Is the editor or president's name available? The community served like the school or the school district or city. Do you have a link to the PTA website? your own or the state's PTA available, and your PTA social media information or links. You'll also be judged on the content. Does the PTA's vision and mission as a, as a primary focus available for us to see? Is there an advocacy or legislation section in each newsletter? Even just include an advocacy link if you don't have a blurb to share each month. Do you have information regarding your membership campaign, like current numbers and membership perks? Are the executive committee and board directors members designated by position with some sort of contact information in each newsletter? Is there a calendar of events? News from other levels of PTA. Board and membership meeting reports included. Committee and program updates or reports. And volunteer recognition by name community news, officer and board of directors training and education, either that you've attended some or that there's some coming up. Are you including bilingual articles and diverse school population information and sharing information regarding PTA programs and awards? Tips for taking significant action. You are going to be required to do some narratives for this award submission. You're going to be able asked to describe the activity, including what is the focus area, the focus area could be health, welfare, safety, and education of students, membership increase. If it was family and community engagement focus, please consider applying for the FACE Award of, of Excellence instead. If it was an advocacy focus, please consider applying for the Advocacy Award instead, Parents and PTA Leader Education, or maybe other, something that we've never heard about. If it was an activity, how many people were served? How long did the event last? Was it a one-time thing or did it run all year? How many people attended or participated? You'll be asked to upload a brief plan and calendar or timeline for the activity. Describe the need that was addressed by the activity and how it was determined. Those are your goals. For involvement, was it again to increase family and community engagement by those not already at the table for this PTA or council? For promotion, well, 
What would another PTA or council need to know to replicate this activity? What materials were required? For resources, you'll be asked to upload your budget. If there wasn't a budget that needed, perhaps you had a grant or you just had donations or it truly costed nothing, then please make note that there were zero associated expenses or income. You'll be asked to describe your outcomes, both positive and negative for the activity. Will your PTA or council do this activity again? Include how you evaluated the activity and what specific recommendations were made. Why might another PTA or council choose to try this activity? If you've included all this information, then another PTA or council will already have access to it. Tips for the Advocacy Award of Excellence are the same as taking significant action with a few additions. When you're describing your focus, you're going to include, was the focus a levy or bond issue, voting or voter registration, advocacy education, funding or budget issues, candidate forums, curriculum, advocacy awareness, improving equity or access, awareness of community needs, or something other that we've never heard of before. You'll still describe your goals and how you involve families and upload examples and your resources, a copy of your budget if it's applicable, and outcomes or impact. But you're also going to be asked to describe your year-round year advocacy. There'll be check boxes that ask, do you recruit, did you recruit an advocacy or legislative chair? Was it filled? Did you regularly send someone to attend legislative assembly, convention? Regularly have adv advocacy updates at PTA meetings? Advocacy updates in your newsletter or e-blast? Regularly attend advocacy classes at council regions or state trainings? Recruit an advocacy or legislative chair, even if it's not, even if it's not filled, just still post that it's open. Attend Focus Day. Have advocacy resources available on your website. Offer advocacy education for your members. In a narrative, you'll be asked to describe your overall and multifaceted advocacy efforts of your local PTA and council. You'll include, if you have one, the name of your PTA's advocacy or legislative chair. You'll be asked to upload a screenshot of your website showcasing your advocacy resources and information. The Family and Community Engagement, or FACE, Award of Excellence, again, is the same as taking significant action with a few minor changes. When you're describing the focus, it might include removing barriers, supporting, supporting student success, improving parenting, promoting advocacy, decreasing diversity, increasing volunteering, welcoming families into the school community, collaborating with families, staff, commu or community, Increasing and diversifying membership, influencing school decision making, offering training at school or at home, communicating effectively with a diverse with diverse populations or something again that we've never heard of. You'll go through your goals and how you involve family and communities in planning and implementation of the activity. What was the duration? Again, your budget, if there was a budget or if there was no cost, all the things that another PTA or council might need to run the same activity at their own air, at their own school. And remember to, in your narrative, include both positive and negative outcomes of this activity and if you would do it again. Now let's go over some tips for the Standards of Excellence Award application. The format has changed some with the new AMS system for online submissions. We're asking for some things to be uploaded at the beginning of the application that have areas highlighted rather than asking for the same document to be uploaded in multiple sections. You will be asked to upload your PTA's budget with certain items highlighted, refer to the information and judges rubric sheet. You will be asked to upload a copy of PTA minutes that show the following things highlighted. So this may mean that you're uploading multiple copies of minutes. The elections of officers, the approval of the budget, anything to do with your financials, standing rules, approval of the goal, goals. You'll upload copies of minutes that show that your the Washington State PTA standards of affiliation was completed. And again, more IRS stuff, corporate annual report, charitable organization, the 990, and the year-end financial review, and a mid-year if you did one and then you'll be asked to upload a copy of your current approved standing rules. There's even more tips to go towards the standards of excellent submission. But remember first, again, 
There's a lot of things to upload, so having a point person in charge of this award that multiple board members can send information to would be really helpful. There'll be information that needs to come from your secretary as far as multiple minutes. The treasurer has a lot of things to submit. So again, the whole board can work together to put the submission in submittal format, and then the point person can actually upload everything into the online system. You're going to be asked to upload a copy of your PTA pol policies that govern your PTA. Those include money handling, like a money tally sheet, reimbursement sheet. You're going to ask to be upload your PTA social media policy, your membership subsidy policies. That includes how membership payments are made or taken, and if you offer scholarships, how those are handled. Again, the social media, if you have any, electronic voting. And then you can also add or upload other examples if you have other policies in place. There's been some lend changes to the platinum level of this award. Some things formally required in the regular level of the standards of excellence to achieve gold are now moved into the platinum area. We've tried to make it easier to achieve a gold level, so some requirements were moved. One of the main things that's new that's been added in the platinum area is a FACE or DEI component. Upload an article, flyer, or other resource that was promoted or provided in another language. A website translation button will not be an accepted example. Upload three examples of a program, event, committee, or outreach to support one of your diverse populations. Narratives are welcome to explain this activity. The final tip for the Awards of Excellence submission is look at examples. Go to the website and see the list of winners from previous years and check out their websites or newsletters if you can find them. Harvest away. PTA leaders are always willing to share great ideas. Review the submissions, take notes, you could take pictures. Network with other local PTAs and councils in your area. You can share ideas back and forth. Ask your help council for help networking if you don't know where, where to go. And remember, you don't have to be gold to apply. You don't have to earn earn every point available. This is a way to learn what you do well now and what you can improve on for later. For example, best practices is that the financial review is presented to the general membership. Your board reviewed it, but it didn't also get reported in the minutes to the general membership. That's not a reason not to apply. Just fix it for next year. Again, you just don't get all the points, but you still may score quite high. Moving on to membership awards. There are quite a few where no application is required. Local PTA membership awards include the bronze award level, which is an increase of one from previous year's membership of enroll memberships and en enrollment. The silver, which is a 5% increase from the previous year. The gold level, which is a 10% increase from the previous year. And the platinum level, a 20% increase from the previous year's membership enrollment and enrolled and paid. The 100% membership award for councils. This means the councils have 100% active participation. All the PTAs in their councils are enrolled and paid in good standing by February 15th, 2023. There's also a regional membership award. This isn't always offered, but sometimes your region might recognize a local PTA with the highest increase by percentage in the membership from the previous year. The following membership awards do require that you fill out an application. This year, the deadline for these applications will be February 28th, 2023, but normally they'd be March 15th. 100% membership is for a local PTA that serves a school building community and achieves a membership total equal or exceeding the student enrollment of that school building. Again, those membership numbers can come from anywhere, community members, staff, parents, students, anything. The 100% teacher membership, actually it should say 100% staff membership. The 100% staff membership award is presented to a local PTA that serves a school community and enrolls at least as many school staff as there are full-time certificated employees at the school as members. This does not count school board members or your superintendent or directors of your district. They actually have to be staff at the school. 
And again, there is an application you have to fill out and it requires a signature from your administrator at your school. They're simple to apply for, just get everything ready. Now let's talk about individual PTA awards. Golden Acorn, Outstanding Educator, Outstanding Advocate, Outstanding Student Advocate, and Honorary Lifetime Achievement. These awards can be presented by local PTAs and councils. More info will be following in the next slides. They can be given at any time, but if you're part of a council, check to see if they have a celebration and take that into account for your timeline. See the website for more information. There is a cost associated with these awards, so make sure to budget for them. A portion of the price of the award goes to the Washington State PTA Scholarship Program. Awards can be ordered through the Washington State PTA Store. Golden Acorn. Since the beginning of this program in the 1930s, more than 54,000 Golden Acorn Awards have been presented to volunteers throughout Washington State. They can be presented by a local PTA or council, it does not have to recognize only PTA volunteering. You could and should consider volunteering for church, sports, school, and other community organizations. Again, this volunteer award is only for volunteers. Outstanding Advocate was established in 2004 to recognize an individual for his or her advocacy and commitment to helping create strong policies relating to the health, welfare, safety, and education of children and youth. It can be presented by a local PTA or council. It can be given to a volunteer or a staff member. In 2011, Washington State PTA created the Outstanding Student Advocate Award to recognize student PTA members who have made significant contributions through leadership and service in their school and community. This award can be presented by a local PTA or council. The Outstanding Educator Award can be presented by a local PTA or council to an individual who has made significant contributions in their community to enhance the educational outcomes of all children or youth. Educator is not limited to a teacher and may be defined as a teacher, assistant, specialist, support staff, administrator, or community member. The Honorary Lifetime Membership Award can be presented by a local PTA or council and recognizes an individual who has shown Extraordinary commitment to the PTA's vision and mission and contributed to the development, growth, and sustainability of the PTA. Please note that the Honorary Lifetime Membership Award recipients do not receive a free membership in the PTA that gives the award. Recipients of this award need to continue to purchase their own PTA memberships annually. The Outstanding Service Award is awarded to someone who has gone beyond his or her own school, community, job, or PTA in order to give dedicated volunteer service to children. This person is concerned with every child and has worked to help them achieve their potential. This award can only be awarded by a region, council, or Washington State PTA. This award is not available to local PTAs to offer. The Washington State PTA Outstanding Service Award recognizes statewide service to children. It is awarded to an individual who has given dedicated and long-term volunteer service that positively impacts every child throughout Washington State while demonstrating the Washington State PTA core values. Just like local PTAs and councils, each year Washington State PTA may honor individuals or groups for their state-level service and or advocacy on behalf of children by presenting them with an individual Washington State PTA award. Please consider nominating leaders in your area for state-level awards like Honorary Life Membership and Advocacy Awards. In recognition for state-level service and or advocacy, please consider the following. Honorary Life Membership to recognize an individual who has contributed significantly to the development, growth, and sustainability of Washington State PTA at the state level. It is awarded to someone who has shown extraordinary commitment to Washington State PTA's vision and mission. State Level Advocacy Awards, Outstanding Advocate, recognizes statewide advocacy and commitment in helping to create strong policies relating to the health, welfare, safety, and education of children and youth. The individual should have furthered Washington State PTA's policy positions, legislative principles, resolutions, and legislative issues by activities such as, but not limited to, submitting policy positions, 
testifying on policy positions on behalf of Washington State PTA or representing Washington State PTA on work groups or coalitions. Outstanding Student Advocate recognizes and honors a student for statewide advocacy, leadership, and or service on behalf of all children and youth. Outstanding Educator recognizes continued and dedicated statewide contributions and efforts to enhance the educational outcomes of all children and youth. This is the Educator of the Year Award from Washington State PTA. An educator may be an individual or group and is not limited to a teacher. Friend of Children Award recognizes state-level dedication to all children through service aligned with Washington State PTA's vision and mission supporting the welfare, health, safety, and our education of Washington State's children. Who do you know that's doing amazing work at a state level? We need to hear from you. We want to recognize the leaders contributing to Washington State PTA. The nominations come from you, our local PTA leaders. It's easier than ever with a simplified awards nomination form. All nominees will be recognized at convention. Nominations will be due by February 15, 2023. Choosing honorees for individual PTA awards at the local PTA and council level should take into consideration several things. The number and variety of awards offered. Your standing rules should specify which awards and how many may be presented by your PTA. Remember, awards do not have to go to a PTA member to receive this recognition. Make sure you have budgeted enough money to cover the cost of the awards that you want to offer. There's no rule about the number of awards to present. Give as many as you want within the parameters of your standing rules and budget. When budgeting, take into the account all the costs associated. The award costs, any gifts or flowers if given, any banquet or event costs if you are part of a council. Remember that a portion of the price of the awards goes to the Washington State PTA Scholarship Program. And having an awards committee. The executive committee should choose active, involved, and trusted individuals to serve on this committee. Often past honorees will serve. The committee clarifies to four members how to nominate candidates, distributes and collects the forms, and chooses honorees. Are nominations required in writing? Do you have a nomination form? Awards for service in the past year encourages volunteers to give as much time in the coming years. The recipient does not have to be an officer or a board member. How does it look if winners are always just the officers and board members? Consider rewarding your involved parents who are graduating from your school with the Honorary Lifetime Membership Award. Other nomination considerations will be, will you solicit nominations from only PTA members or the entire school community? and staff. People can nominate more than one person for the same award, i.e. they can nominate two or more people for the Golden Acorn or a Studying Educator, etc. You can require that nomination be in writing but not verbal. Decide how you will decide the winners. Can someone win the same award from your PTA more than once? Can they receive the Golden Acorn multiple times? Do you provide a list of past recipients? Do you keep historic records or nominations so you can look back to see how many previous years a teacher or volunteer has been nominated? When presenting awards, strive to offer awards at well-attended events. If your council has an awards banquet or other celebration, consider covering the cost of their ticket. Make sure you have budgeted for the expenses. Consider doing something special for your winners when they are announced. Publish the award in all internal communication methods like website, newsletter, e-blast, bulletin board, membership meeting. Tell you, your principal so they can help spread the word. Make sure you build a timeline for the awards that, to arrive by mail from the PTA store before you schedule an awards event. There is no deadline. Awards can be ordered any time for the Washington PTA store. There, on the website, there's a green button on the home page on the left-hand side. The cost of the awards has was lowered a bit, so take a look at all the options. Washington State PTA is a volunteer association. Whatever differences we make in the lives of children are because of the volunteers who are committed to being the voice for every child. In gratitude for the many hours of service and training we go through, Washington State PTA Board of Directors created the Leadership Academy Awards Program. This has changed and is now called the Leadership Service Award. 
This was created to recognize and acknowledge leadership skills acquired by PTA leaders throughout all levels of the association. Info can be found in the Leadership Resources tab on the website. This is not an award given by a local PTA or council. This is something that each individual PTA leader should apply for. You get points for the various positions you have held, like committee chair, board of director, executive committee positions, trainings that you attend, and multiple things beyond that. Based on your points, you will achieve bronze, silver, gold, or crystal. The points are recorded and you continue to add over the years. A tip would be to keep track of all the things that you've been doing on a spreadsheet throughout the year. This year, the deadline for submitting for the Leadership Service Award is February 28, 2023. The application limits your reporting of points for only the past two PTA years. It's easy to put this off if you don't think you have enough points to report. The Leadership Service Award Committee keeps track of the points and you don't want to lose credit for any of your volunteer service. Keep copies of what you submit so you know where you left off. Instructions again can be found in the Washington State PTA website under Leadership Resources and then the Leadership Service Award tab. So why should you apply for the Leadership Service Award? There are many benefits to you as a leader, but also to your local PTA or council. For you, it's free. How many opportunities have you had for free training and leadership development? Have you ever thought about how much your PTA leadership and training can add to your own personal resume? It's recognition for your leadership and service. Everyone needs to hear a thank you. You get a certificate and a pen for each level and a plaque if you get crystal. Benefits to your local PTA or council. It promotes participation at PTA events and activities like Focus Day, Legislative Assembly, and Convention. A sense of confidence in your local PTA or council. Award-winning leaders add such confidence. The points for the Leadership Service Award vary by conference and training. For example, you get more points for attending convention than you do a region conference or taking a national PTA e-learning class. They vary by leadership position. You get more points for being an elected officer than you do for being a committee chair. The points are different for local PTAs and councils than at the Washington State level. P there are points for things like serving on a school board committee, your local bond and levy committee, etc. Et leadership activities include things like presenting at a region conference or convention or offering legislative testimony. There are points for everything. Leadership Service Award takes time to gain the levels you don't reach crystal overnight. Points Matrix has been updated for the 2022-23 year. And again, all submissions are online. In summary, there are some great reasons to apply for awards. It promotes best practices. By implementing best practices, local PTAs and councils see fewer problems and have greater successes and provide better service to members. It recognizes areas of excellence and fosters continuous improvement, reinforces what your PTA does well, and shows where there might be some improvements needed. A sense of confidence in your PTA leadership, a sense of pride in your community. Who wouldn't want to be part of an award-winning PTA? It's a public relations tool. It's not only important to the success of your PTA, but also for principals who may be introducing prospective parents and donors to the school. A great tagline for realtors can also help with housing values. And hopefully you'll see some membership increases. Your region program chairs in your Washington State PTA program director can be a valuable resource for your questions and your concerns. Region programs chairs can be reached at rpc, insert your region number, at wastatepta.org. If you're part of a council, reach out to your council leaders. And as always, check out the Washington State PTA website awards page. Now let's find out how your students at your school can earn some awards themselves in the Washington State PTA student programs. Student programs include the National PTA program, Reflections, it's an art competition. Those are due to Washington State PTA January 19th, 2023. Our Washington State PTA programs that are due February 15th, 2023, our essay contest, open to all grades. Game development is the secondary grades, 6th through 12th grade. And the scholarship program, high school seniors. 
All PTAs must be in good standing in order for their students to participate in these programs. Remember, it will be very p important that all PTAs have their ID number listed where the students and families can find them so they can complete the online entry forms. Reflections is unlike any other PTA program. Founded in 1969, National PTA's 50 plus year Reflections Art Program provides opportunities for recognition and access to the arts. Each year, students across the world in pre-K through grade 12 create original works of art in response to a student selected theme. Students submit their completed works of art in one or all of the available art categories. Dance choreography, film production, literature, music composition, photography, and visual arts, 2 and 3D. In addition to these categories, the Special Artist Division allows students with disabilities from all grades to participate and utilize non-artistic accommodations. So how does it work? Reflect. Bulletin boards and posters can help students come up with ideas for their interpretation of the theme. Perhaps start a brainstorming wall with post-it notes, for example. Create. How can we make reflections as equitable as possible? Encourage participation in art forms that don't require a lot of supplies, like literature and film production or dance choreography. If your PTA has room in their budget, host reflections workshops at a time that works for your community with art supplies or do a supply pickup drive through event. Celebrate. Reflections is a program centered around building community. There are many ways to exhibit student artwork within the walls of your school, a slideshow on your Facebook page, at local businesses, libraries, civic buildings, etc. Display Reflections artwork as a PTA display during parent nights at your school. Don't forget to advertise the Reflections theme search contest. Even students not participating as artists in Reflections might be interested in submitting a theme idea. You can submit the forms online. The 2022-23 theme was Show Your Voice. It was submitted by Jason Yevon from New York. The 2023-24 theme is I Am Hopeful Because. The current submissions being submitted now are for the program that will be implemented in 2024 and 25. That's two years from now. Each state gets to submit five entries to National PTA. Keep track of important reflection dates. Your celebration event date may need to take place after you turn in advancing artwork to your council or state office. Take clear photos of the artwork and screenshots or small clips of the film, dance, and music to create a PowerPoint to display while handing out the awards. You might plan a celebration online. Pictured on this slide is a page from the Local Leadership Guide and checklist by itself, and these can be found in the Washington State PTA Leader Resources page. There's a full-length reflections presentation and training that is offered every year in the fall. The Washington State PTA Essay Contest is open to students in all grades. To help celebrate the people that are most important in influencing the lives of children around the state of Washington, the objective of this contest is for students of all ages and abilities to write an essay about an influential role model that has had a profound impact on their life. The influential role model must be a real person that the student has interacted with, not a fictional character. These essays from the student's perspectives will serve to inspire and acknowledge amazing individuals. Entries must include a completed and signed Washington State PTA Essay Contest online application form. The essay must be copied into the form in no more than 650 words. If a student would like to share a drawing or a picture of the essay or a picture of the subject of the essay, it can be sent to the Washington State PTA essay at wastatepta.org. This is not a requirement. Only one entry allowed per student. Multiple entries from one student will be disqualified. Students may submit entries every year, but may only win once in each division. The Washington State PTA Game Development Competition is only available to middle and high school students. It was introduced in 2016 and is funded by a private grant to encourage participation in STEM-based activities. Statistics show that students of color and women are underrepresented in STEM-based fields. Board games were added so a lack of technology access was not a barrier to participate in the game competition. Students create a computer game or a board game 
based on a theme. This year's theme is curiosity. Your participation as a PTSA is easy. Simply help get the word of this opportunity out to your students. There is no formal organization or task for your PTA to undertake. If you want to go the extra step, you could talk to your administration about access to computers or technology staff to see if they have an interest in mentoring students interested in participation. Again, student program deadlines are February 15th, 2023. More information can be found on the student programs page on the website. The Washington State PTA Scholarship Program is open to high school seniors at a school with a PTA in good standing. The Washington State PTA offers four $2,500 scholarships to graduating seniors from across the state. Again, with high schools with an active PTA who will be starting college whether a two-year or four-year in the fall. Students must have a GPA of at least a 3.4 and share at least three volunteer activities and answer an essay question, how is volunteering within my community help me today and into the future? Students submit the scholarship application through an on, the online submission platform, or known as the AMS. We encourage students to apply even if they do have not decided on which specific college, either two or four year, they'll be attending. If a student is selected as a scholarship recipient, we will verify the enrollment status prior to distributing the funds. The application deadline may vary depending on the convention date, usually March 1st each year, and the scholarships are awarded by April 30th. Again, for 2023, the deadline for applications is February 15th. Washington State PTA needs your help in promoting all of these wonderful student programs so we can get as many applications as possible from your students. If you have questions, be sure to reach out to your region program chair or your council or the Washington State PTA program director. Thank you for attending today's webinar.